Now, let's look at the conferences that are coming up because you're going out to C.C. Stevens' conference out in America. Uh, you're coming back within a matter of weeks. You're going to be doing your own conference uh, well, in November. Nine days, actually. It's about, yeah, it's about nine days after we come back, yeah. So, so tell us about these two conferences. Well, C.C.'s conference, I kept getting it through on email and thinking, oh, that looks really cool. And uh, my other half and I were already planning an, another America or Canada trip. Uh, we weren't planning on going kind of Arizona way, but I just thought, I'll just email her and see if she's got any room for me or whether she'd be interested. Not thinking for one minute that she would say yes, because obviously she'd got loads of fabulous speakers. And I was kind of thinking, oh, little old me, I'm not going to be any use out there. But she emailed straight and back and said, oh, it would be great to have you over here. Yeah, bring your cards and your CDs and this, that and the other. So, which are all going to be ready for the conference which will be really cool so um so yeah so we kind of planned our trip around the the 10 10 10 and i mean it is just absolutely amazing what she's doing and how it's evolved out there i mean she's now got well you probably know but she's now got the opportunity for 25 couples to have a mayan wedding ceremony did you know that no, I didn't. very cool indeed um i think she's got leandro going out there from brazil obviously master master carver um and it you know there's just people coming over from all over the place i mean people that have been selling our cards in australia and america and uh africa i think you know they're all we all seem to be congregating um in arizona so yeah so it's fabulous it's going to be i think we I think we start on the friday evening and we kind of have like a cocktail hour meet and greet and then it's three pretty long days because it's eight till eight on the saturday sunday monday um, she's got a sound healing temple and uh, yeah so it's going to be really really good some fabulous speakers I'm actually doing a workshop as well so and I'm I don't know whether I'm elated or absolutely petrified because I keep looking at the list of speakers thinking you know who am I what am I going to you know share with these people but I'm sure they'll inspire me on the plane on the way over and something will happen I, apparently I'm supposed to be talking about the inner terrestrials but I haven't really got to the bottom of that yet they just they've just given me a snippet of it so i should be tuning in and seeing what that's all about but yeah some fantastic speakers fantastic workshops loads of vendors and it's just going to be a real fantastic crystal skull fest really fantastic well, with cc behind it you just know it's going to be packed with energy i mean she's such an energetic person and a very generous lady as well so i'm sure that's going to be brilliant now tell us a little bit about your own conference when you get back <laughs> oh dear well, it's kind of been a bit guided by the Mitchell Hedges Crystal Skull, I, I think, because um, I went to look at a venue in Kent for completely other reasons, to do, you know, kind of little mini workshops um, or possibly to get married. It sounds like I might even be having a main wedding ceremony in, in Arizona. Who knows? So we went to look at this venue in April, I think. Gorgeous sunny day. Got out of the car. And as you know, my sign for the Mitchell Hedges these days is a helicopter. And we're in the middle of nowhere because the, the, the manor house is uh, in like 73 acres of parkland. And it, and it is literally, you know, in the, in the middle of kind of the countryside, up country lane. So it's not easily accessible uh, unless you've got a car. But we got out of the car and I thought, hmm, I hear a somewhat rather familiar hum of, uh, you know, well as you know kind of what i class as scully vibrations and then uh, and then suddenly this helicopter appeared and i thought mm, okay this is very interesting i've got to go in here with a obviously a very much more open mind to what i was was thinking and by the time we'd viewed the venue brian and i were just like oh we have to have a crystal skull conference here and, and a retreat you know because obviously you can just come and stay there for the whole weekend so so within a week, the whole place was booked and emails were going out and uh, we've only got about 12 places left now. And um, essentially what's happening is um, people arrive on the Friday evening. We have our evening meal all together. There's only 50 places, so there'll be 50 of us all light, light workers, light, light, like and light-hearted and minded. Um, so we all have evening meal together, breakfast Saturday morning, and then Saturday we have... Um, four speakers on Saturday I think and then we've got uh, a sound meditation in the evening if people want to join in and obviously evening meal, buffet lunch, Sunday three more speakers 
Um, we have to leave about five o'clock on Sunday, but again, breakfast and lunch. So we basically arrive five o'clock Friday evening and leave five o'clock Sunday evening. Big open fires. I mean, if it's a lovely day, um, you know, people will be able to wander around in the grounds. I mean, it's possibly going to be a bit chilly in November. But uh, yeah, so obviously seven speakers, of which you are one, of course. So you'll be on the Saturday. Um, we've got Gillian Ellis, Elizabeth Hartstar. Sue Kitts, uh, Rianne, Crystal Priestess, and Wendy from Glastonbury, and me, yours truly, of course. So that's the seven speakers. And then we've got Catherine Stargazer, who's going to be setting up the Sound Healing Temple for us. So she's got her whole um, set of crystal bowls. Um, we've got something called, now are they monochords or harmoniums? I'm not sure, but absolutely fantastic kind of stringed instruments uh gongs and drums and tinkly things so it's going to be so that's going to be really cool on on the saturday um we've got the aura photography people coming down as well so um people can have their photographs taken with various scullies to see obviously how the uh, the energy changes and uh, obviously caretakers and few other people there with skulls and bits and bobs for sale and private readings and sessions and healings so yeah so another crystal skull fest really not quite on the scale of of cc's because i think she's probably expecting about four or five hundred but this is a nice little you know just 50 of us we arrive we stay the whole weekend have a fabulous time and uh yeah, hopefully lots of stories to tell. It's going to be good. I know that uh, from just from the other things that you've put on. Um, give us the dates, the exact dates again, and how people go about booking. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? <laughs> it's Friday the 5th of November, and from the Sound Healing Temple, apparently across the parkland, we should be able to see loads of fireworks going off, so that's really cool. So yeah, fr- arrive Friday the 5th of November from about 5 o'clock onwards for an evening meal at 7 leave at uh, five o'clock on sunday the 7th and crystalskullconference.co.uk is the best place to go because all the speaker information venue information prices how to get um, tickets and things like that Um, because i'm going to america for nearly three weeks in october ideally i would like them to all be booked up kind of by mid-september so that i can just wrap it all up and haven't got anything to do because Obviously, when I get back, I've only got about eight or nine days, and then we're and then we're there. So um, yeah, so crystalskullconference.co.uk. Well, you heard it from Sharon, folks. There's only twelve tickets left, and it is first come, first served. So that website address again, Sharon. Crystalskullconference.co.uk. There you go. Get booking, Sharon. It's always a delight talking to you. Thanks for coming over today and having a chat to us. And good luck with all the projects ahead of you in the coming months. Thank you very much. <laughs>